hello guys good afternoon welcome back to my youtube channel thank you again for tuning in i hope you're having an amazing day so today i am doing a few slides on basic dysrhythmia assessment so um you can expect to see these questions on the um either the um LPN or RN NCLEX exam, or you can also see it if you're taking um, the PCT class, like with cardiac rhythms and stuff like that. Also, you can find these questions on the um, ACLS advanced um, ACLS course, and maybe some on the BLS course. So let's get started. Um, again, if you like these types of content and these types of educational material, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, give this video a thumbs up. So the first question we have here, atrial dysrhythmia are characterized by a, wide and bizarre QRS complex, B, prolonged PR intervals, C, absence or abnormal P wave, or D, periods of asystole. So take a moment and think about this question before I give you the answer. So think about this question. It's not a hard question. So the correct answer for this question will be uh, C. And I'm going to bold it. I hope this can help you. That's the correct answer. So let's move on to question number two. Question number two states, the monitor tech notifies you that your patient is in asystole on the monitor. Your first response is to think about this question, call a code, B, assess the patient, C, call the R RRT, and D, look at the monitor. Take a moment and think about it. So guys, that moment is up, and I hope you can come up with the correct answer for this question. The correct answer is to assess the patient. Um, we always have to assess the patient. Um, the monitor, we can have arterial facts on the monitor. So the monitor is not a good indication sometimes you know, due to malfunctioning. So we always have to assess our patient to see if they are exhibiting any, um, any type of symptoms. Question number three. In a normal heart, the primary pacemaker is a V node, SA node, Purkinje fibers, left bundle branch. Take a moment and think about it and then I'll give you the correct answer. So think about where the heart, um, the normal heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute. But think about which part of the heart is this, um, heart rhythms is initiated from um think about it it's not a hard question it's basically the pacemaker of the heart so that moment is up and the correct answer is the essay note and i'm going to bold this question for you so you have the correct answer 
Let's move to question four. So question four states the P wave on the EKG corresponds to which of the following electrical events? We know on the EKG we have different um, different codes, the P, T, QRX complex, the PR interval. So think about the P wave. Ventricular depolarization, atrial depolarization, atrial repolarization, failure to capture. Take a moment and think about it. So that moment is up and the correct answer is atrial depolarization. That's the correct answer, atrial depolarization. Let's look at, I think I have one more question. Okay, question number five. I am going to read this question, and it's not a hard question, but it's a question where you have to select one or select all of the above. Sinus tachycardia may be seen as a response to, so think about it, sinus tachycardia. Tachycardia means the heart rate is above 60 to 100 is the normal, and if you're tacky, you're probably 140, 160, 180. And think about what are some of the um, contributing factors that can, um, can cause your heart rate to be increased. A, anxiety. B, pain. C, dehydration. D, all of the above. So take a moment and think what can cause your heart rate to be elevated. Guys, these questions, you can find them more so on your, um, if you're taking an EKG course or you're taking phlebotomist, these questions, RN exams, LPN exams, you know, advanced car, the ACLS course, you can expect to see these questions. So that moment is up and the correct answer to this question is D as in David and I am going to be bolding it. Guys, so that is it for this video. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I couldn't do it without you and I wish all the nurses out there, the LPNs, the RN, the CNAs that are taking the state board exam, I wish you guys lots of luck. You guys are in my prayers every day. And, um, you know, take your time, study hard, think about your question, think, you know, it's that critical thinking skill. You know, don't choose the one answer you know think think about it before you can make a informed decision okay um again thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video bye for now please subscribe please like and please share thanks for watching bye